Good evening once again, everyone. This time, as Dave mentioned, we would like to begin the induction ceremony for the 2014 class of the Gettysburg College Hall of Athletic Honor. We have a video presentation for each of our esteemed inductees, and after, each inductee will be asked to come onto the stage to accept their award and give a few short remarks. So ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax, and watch our opening video presentation on 1998 graduate and former swimming standout Peter Casares. His enthusiasm, uh, his love of the sport, and his optimism, he was so positive. I, I could tell from the very first time that I met him that he was going to be exceptional. Pete Casares raised the bar for an already dominant swimming program at Gettysburg College. Casares was a five-time All-American, winning two individual honors and three certificates as a member of relay teams. His versatility and drive to compete resulted in school records in eight different events at the end of his outstanding career. We could put him in any, any freestyle butterfly or individual medley uh, event, whether it was a championship meet or a dual meet, and he'd give it a great effort. He hated to lose. With the Glastonbury, Connecticut native leading the way, Gettysburg captured four Centennial Conference team championships and went 29-3 in dual meet competition. As a sophomore, he grabbed first team all-conference accolades in five different events, including the 500 freestyle and 100 and 200 yard butterfly events. His leadership in and out of the pool was undeniable and he would be voted team captain twice by his teammates. Everybody loved Pete. Everybody still loves Pete. He's one of the finest young men I've ever known. Just a great guy. Obviously being elected twice, as, once his junior year and his senior year as captain, that his teammates showed a, a lot of respect for him. He was a wonderful leader and uh, his teammates loved him. A lot of very good swimmers focus on themselves. Pete had the ability to focus on also everybody around them and try to lift them up, encourage them. Uh, he was just a great leader, natural leader. Casares took Gettysburg to new heights at the NCAA Division III Swimming and Diving Championships in 1998. Casares took home national accolades in both butterfly races, as well as all three freestyle relay races. Gettysburg placed 12th overall at the national meet, its highest finish in program history. Following graduation, Casares moved on to a successful career as a collegiate coach. As interim head coach at Kenyon College, he led the men's and women's programs and national titles in 2002. He also coached at Wabash College in Indiana and is currently the head swimming coach at Bates College, where he was named the 2014 NESCAC Women's Swimming Coach of the Year. Big Casares deserves to be in the Hall of Honor, not only because of his individual accomplishments, which uh, very few in my 30 years here have reached that level, but because of his ability to help an entire team rise up a level. Uh, he was a wonderful leader. He was a great student of the sport uh, and it doesn't surprise me one bit that he's become one of the finest young coaches in Division Three right now and has accomplished an awful lot. In fact, we've gone full circle. I now call him for advice. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce Peter Casares. This is different. <laughs> You're not all bobbing in a pool right now, uh, although the heights thing is working out for me. Um, first of all, um, I want to uh, take a moment to uh, thank Gettysburg College 
Um, it was a, an amazing four-year experience for me that has transformed me and, and is a part of me to this day um, that I will never forget. Um, I want to thank the Orange and Blue Club for doing a phenomenal job with this event. Um, to look out here and see this and, and see what this is all about is, uh, is breathtaking to me. Uh, I work at a, at a very fine institution at Bates College, and this is, a, this is doing it right. This is fantastic. Um, and then, um, of course, uh, a big congratulations to all the other inductees tonight. When you read the accomplishments uh, that this class has um, experienced and brought to the table, you can uh, feel really honored and humbled to be up here at this time. So um, I wanted to make sure to, to mention all that. Um, this uh, means the world to me. It was uh, a, a fantastic day when the, when the envelope showed up at the house. Um, and to be honest, um, you know, the, the heart rate went up. Uh, you opened it up, and the phone came out of the pocket, and there was a picture of the letter I just got from Gettysburg because I never wanted to forget that feeling. Um, while I was here, though, um, Gettysburg was really, um, and Gettysburg swimming for me was, was simply um, about breaking pool records, school records. It was about um, swimming for the team, um, beating F and M, of course. <laughs> um, and you know, a special part for me was trying to be on the relays with uh, Todd Peters here, who came to visit me, or came to be here tonight also, because um, when you were on a relay with him, you knew something special was going to happen. So um, we spent a lot of time focusing on that um, without the knowledge really of an event like this existing um, and being there for you. We were, we were here for Gettysburg um, and here for each other and it was, it was really special. Um, moments like this also really cause you to, to feel proud of what you accomplished and realize the hard work that you put into things and, and the recognition you get for that, but a lot of it is reflection and thank yous. Um, so I just wanted to take a moment to, to say some thank yous. Um, and it's, it's been odd for me to get this award. Uh, we went to the national meet in 98 in St. Louis and uh, got 12th in the country, uh, but it was a relay that did that. Um, and so it feels odd to me to be up here without those relay team members um, and those teammates I had. So um, first and foremost, um, I got a lot of special people in the crowd tonight. Um, I look over there at table 17 and see my buddy Joe Carver, who hosted me on my recruiting trip. When I left Bay, uh, Gettysburg, he was our top distance swimmer and record holder and, and pretty much the reason why I came here. He's a, uh, a person that's selfless, that gets him in trouble sometimes, but he was there for us all at always and, and always will be there for us. Um, my buddy, Chris Budden. Uh, I took things a little too serious at times. Chris is the kind of guy that can make you laugh so hard you think you're going to die. <laughs> and for anybody else out there who hasn't experienced that, I, I highly encourage you to because it's a wonderful experience. Um, but they used to think I was having a hernia, you know, and, and I, I just tears, tears of laughter, and, and Chris did that for me. Um, Todd Peters came out here today, um, and Todd is... Uh, probably the kindest individual I've met. He makes everybody feel like a best friend. Um, and uh, I think he's like a, a living, breathing version of a Bob Marley song. You just feel good when you're around him. <laughs> so um, my teammates have been everything to me. And uh, we got 12th in the country because three relays made it. Um, and that was a phenomenal experience for me and the way that I wanted to finish off my career here. Um, along the way, I also had some great coaches. Um, one of my role models and idols uh, growing up was Skip Griffin. He didn't teach me a thing about swimming. Um, he let me do what I needed to do in the water, but he taught me about dedication and discipline. I used to listen to him talk about his five-mile run each morning, and I could tell he hated it, but he did it because it was discipline. Discipline, Pete. Um, and those, those moments of hard work and, and those, those messages were important to me. Um, in high school, I had two of the greatest swimming coaches ever that did teach me a lot about swimming. Um, one would play Jedi mind tricks and, and change your stroke in the middle of a race. And the other one taught you about love and, and made you want to be a swimmer and, and nothing else. Um, and uh, Jim and George were just two guys that really helped me 
um, develop a love for the sport that has continued on to this point in my career where I'm still doing it today. Um, and then, of course, um, at Gettysburg, I had Mike and Cammie. Um, and uh, you can't ask for a better duo. Um, Mike is clearly one of the best coaches in the country. He's at the national meet. He's uh, recruiting in a full roster each year. Um, he's winning Centennial Conference championships like no other coach in Gettysburg history, and that speaks to his success and his ability. Um, but Mike does a lot more than swim coach. He teaches you how to be a man, uh, and I'll forever be grateful for that. Um, I was lucky this year to be sitting on the national uh, pool deck uh, with my team, and we sat down next to uh, Johns Hopkins and George Kennedy, the coach that uh, Mike followed here at Gettysburg, was talking with me, and he had just won Fortune Magazine's uh, award for being one of the top 50 leaders in the country. Um, and I was talking with George, and he said it really well. He said, Mike allows his team to be the people that they are. Um, and when you allow them to be who they are, their strengths shine. And amazing things happen. Um, and I remembered that. Um, he let us fail in the pool in a way. Um, but he was always there for us. And most importantly, he let us graduate from the program feeling a, responsible for our successes. And there's no better gift for a college graduate than to feel 100% responsible for their successes and to know that they can do it going forward. Um, and so Mike taught me a lot about being a man. Um, he doesn't have an ego like most coaches, and we could all learn from that. Um, but he was there, and he put his kids first, um, his swimmers, and he fought for us, and he believed in us. And uh, I try to do that every day as a coach right now. Um, Cammy, I'll never forget the day you looked right at me in the pool and said, God, you're a swimming nerd. <laughs> and... I saw Mike's eyes light up and smile, and I knew those, that's a team right there. They love each other, and the whole team laughed, and I go, am I supposed to be okay with this? And I just smiled. You know, so I've actually gone forward that I'm a self-proclaimed swimming geek, and I'm okay with it. Um, Cammie called me out on it, and she was a phenomenal coach during those years. Um, but um, watching Cammie and Mike together was um, a lesson for me in parenting. Uh, to this day, I remember hearing Francesca scream and watching Cammy book it out of the office at full speed and save the day. Um, and just to see the parenting that went on during my four years here made a lasting impression and something I'll never forget. Um, so I really appreciate that too. Um, the next person I need to thank before I get off the stage is uh, my beautiful wife. I met her here at Gettysburg. Um, I memorized her name during roll call junior year. <laughs> yep. And uh, She's been there for me throughout all my best swimming, all my best coaching, all my most successful moments and my happiest moments in my life right by my side. So I thank you for um, being there, um, being my confidant, um, being someone that um, is supportive, my biggest fan, and my North Star. So you've always given me direction, and I thank you. Um, the last people I have to thank are my my family back at home. I don't have my parents here tonight, and I wish they could be here tonight. Um, and uh, they played a huge role in my development and my love for the sport and my, um, my ability to be here right now. So I thank my mom and dad, I thank my sisters, um, and it's been wonderful. I think I'm at my three minute mark here, so I'm gonna say thank you once again. Um, this is an amazing event. And uh, be sure that you do give back to the Orange and Blue Club and help this program and this school and these sports and these teams thrive because it's very important. Thank you.